All right, mic check. Check one, check two. Test, test. Looking good. Blamer Linux, I am awesome. Isaiah Kagan, pseudo Linux coding commanders. My favorite friend from Florida, Steve and Rick. Greetings. How is everybody this evening? Will I be done before Switch Linux goes live? I... Honestly, I don't know. That depends how many people jump on tonight, Isaiah. I would say probably yes. Oh, that's right. I forget. Switch does his every Friday night around, what, 9, 10 o'clock? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Ed. So for tonight... This year will mark, uh, March will be eight years of this channel. The Toss Today channel, Total OS Today channel started March of 2010. It's hard to believe. And uh, I am, we are still standing. So this really started as a beginner's newbie channel uh, for people who are curious about Linux. I mean, it's, it's, it's grown into somewhat more than that. But at the core, I suppose it still is. So if there are any Windows users out there, newbies, beginners, maybe you tasted Linux, tried it, maybe you went to a community forum and you were treated like dirt. Maybe, maybe you didn't get the answer you needed or for whatever reason, you would like to ask a question uh, say something, say hello, maybe rant. This is your opportunity. Um, and that's why we're doing this for tonight. Obviously, everybody is welcome. So, Windows users, uh, newbies to Linux, if you're out there, please don't be shy. Stop by and say hello. If, if you just want to say hello, that's perfectly fine. That's right, if you need help on Linux, we are here to help. And I got a feeling there are many, many of you out there who just are not quite, you know, sure about Linux. What is it? You're lost, you're shy. It's okay. Uh, years ago, back in 06, I started off as a newbie. And I had zero help. Learned on my own. Lots of reading, trial and error. Many, many <laughs> beautiful disks. CDs, DVDs, trying different Linux-based operating systems. Trial and error. Uh, so, yeah, th this is your chance. Trust me, everybody here is friendly. And if they're not, they will be banned. It's that simple, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll stay on for about an hour, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, this is for you guys, for the newbies out there who are too shy to say hello or ask a question. Everybody's welcome. Jim Peterson, Pinoy violinist. Well, welcome. Hello, Tony Simmons. Started in 2012. Watch, watch lots of videos for help, but it was hard. Yeah, it, it is hard. If there's nobody there physically to show you, uh, it is hard. It, and, and it was hard for me in the beginning. It took me a few years to get comfortable with it. Um, I would say it probably took me four years. Um, yeah. You will need to switch to Linux before 7 support ends. Okay, you don't like number 10. All right. You learned dual boot Windows 7 and Ubuntu back in 2012. Very good. Yeah, I've always been a dual booter, more or less. It just works for me, so... Running Ubuntu, switched off from Arch. Yeah. I've dabbled in Arch like Manjaro, but it just wasn't for me. No, nope. tried it. Didn't work.
Music is too loud? All right, I'll turn it down. Is that better? Music is from the YouTube. By, by the way, I'll shut it off if, if you guys don't want to hear it. It's just, it seems like most of you, most of you guys like it in the background. Uh, let me know if that's okay. I just turned it down. By the way, I do like the updated OBS. This is version 21.0.1. I like uh, some of the little changes to it. Jim, you switched from Windows 10 to Peppermint Linux for two weeks now. Wow, okay. Are you new to the world of Linux, Jim? Or have you been doing this for a while? <clears throat> Peppermint's good. I could probably recommend Peppermint for a newbie. Yeah. Of course, I like Ubuntu Mate. Works for me. Uh, let's see. Your grandfather's half Filipino. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. All right. <laughs> you used to not like the YouTube music. Now it's growing on you. I kind of like it. I mean, it, there's a, there's many many choices on the YouTube audio library. I I I sift. I really do sift through each piece of music to see what may fit. It's very time consuming, but I kind of like it. But if you guys don't want to hear it, that's perfectly fine with me. Tony says you've been messing with Linux for what, six months? You still consider yourself a noob? Well, that's what we're doing this for. If you have questions about Linux, uh, something you're not sure of, please ask. If I don't have the answer, probably somebody will. Uh, I want to make sure I catch everybody on the stream here. Chris, Gulver, Guyver, hello. Dr. 66. Arch Merge and MX-17. How to reinstall Windows 10. Is it corrupted? You can use the uh, recovery options built into Windows 10. Assuming you don't have a pirated version of Windows 10, Clive. But you, sh you could reboot into the recovery options. There are several recovery options. You should have made a backup on a, on a several disks. You know, if if you didn't, uh, you still might be able to save it. <laughs> Labor says you're five to six years still a noob. Okay, and I thought four, four years was too long for me, but uh, BSD, yeah, I don't really mess with TSD. Uh, Trenton Matthews, welcome from Denver. Hey, blind Windows Chrome OS user. We'll be getting Ubuntu May once I get a new Dell PC. Very good. Okay. I love Ubuntu Mate. Yeah, it's my... I, I'm i stuck on this one. I just... I, I like the simplicity of it. It just works. I mean, it, it just does. Um, so, yeah. Kagan Linux last year with standard Ubuntu. Very good. Kitty is watching at Grandma's. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you should be able to right click the advanced menu. You should be able to right click add applet. It should be here somewhere. Advanced menu, right? Search menu. Uh, it's right here. Advanced mate menu. Try that right there. I won't do it because my top panel is full as it is, but, but try that. You're welcome, Chris. You like the music? Okay, cool, cool. If 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 we have a vote where it gets annoying, I'm I'm cool to turn it off. Not an issue. But I think most of you like it. Okay. Uh, you upgraded to Windows 10 from eight, and as slow as actually it was faster for me. Uh, what are your computer specs, Clive? Yeah, I saw the YouTube ads. Man, I wish I could shut off the ads and just go with other ways to fund the channel, but uh, it's 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 hard. It's it's uh, it's an adjustment. 
We have to learn to adapt, and it's not easy. Uh, you mainly use Windows for PHP programming at the office before it was very slow. I found Peppermint OS that makes the office PC performance fast. Very good. You keep switching to both OS due to Adobe. Yeah, Adobe Photoshop is um, it's one of the more popular uh, apps, software for Windows. Gael El Sebador, welcome, Gael. I'm guessing you're from uh, Portugal. I'm, I'm guessing. It's going well. Uh, sorry for not being a Windows user. That's okay. Uh, the more we talk about Windows, even if you're not, a, I, I think it'll be easy for, for newbies who come by this live stream. So that's okay. I think it'll make everybody feel more, well, you know, more welcome. Got Gael, so welcome. Um, Lamer, you're watching this on your phone. Okay. Ubuntu server. Server coding commander. Uh, a Toshiba satellite. Okay, but what are the specs? How much, for example, is, is it a dual core or quad core? Two gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM? If Windows 10 should run a little smoother than Windows 8, it's it has for me. Even on I have an old Toshiba satellite dual core and it runs considerably faster, Clive. So something's up. Yeah, you may have to tune up Windows, uh, defrag, run the virus scan, stuff like that. Steve Mint for 18 months. Okay. MX is good. It's fairly lightweight. So is Peppermint. Yeah. Mac OS for work and Linux. Really? Linux for gaming? No kidding. How is the gaming in Linux working? I know most people, like myself, use Windows for gaming. Interesting that you're using Linux for, for gaming, Jim. Yeah, in Windows, you should use, after you upgrade, you should run the Disk Cleanup app in Windows. Now, now you can download other extra apps if you want to, third-party stuff, but you should run the Disk Cleanup uh, I would run the defrag. I would try, you can use the built-in Windows 10 defrag. It's okay. I like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not in Windows now, but uh, I would say try downloading defragler. I believe it's called defragler, a lightweight defragger. I would try that. Um, CCleaner I use. Uh, super anti-spyware, malware bytes, and you can use the built-in antivirus for Windows should be sufficient. If you do that, you may find your computer may run a little bit faster. <laughs> your Fred's class, finally, Fedora 16. Ooh, move one on up in the world. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yes, English Bob for... Uh, Peppermint OS master class. Very good. Does anyone think we need antivirus in Linux? Need? Probably not. Um, it would not be a bad, I mean, it couldn't hurt. I'm surprised that in Makulu Linux, and I'll talk about that in a moment, I just reviewed that that has a built-in antivirus. That's the first time I've ever seen that in the Linux distro. So do we need an antivirus? Perhaps the, not need, but maybe in the future. Uh, so Tony, I, I, I don't, I have it, I don't use it. So yeah, CCleaner for Windows, yes, I use CCleaner, option to clean your registry, yes. I use that, so I would use, a, hey Switch, welcome. Uh, for Windows 10, disk cleanup utility, uh, CCleaner, Download the free defragmenter defragler and um, super anti spyware malware bytes. 
run the built-in antivirus or you can try downloading a vast antivirus that should be enough and you'll find that um, you'll find your system should run faster a little bit better yes if you're running wine uh, you should run an AV I don't run wine in uh, it, 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 it doesn't work for me for, for you know for what I want to use it for if, if I have to use a Windows app I just boot into Windows it's that simple simple so once again if there are any Windows users out there newbies to Linux this is your chance stop by okay this is eight years it'll be eight years of this channel and it started off and I suppose it still is somewhat of a newbies channel so this is for you people out there this is your chance to say hello Ask a question, rant, tell a joke, <laughs> whatever you like. Maybe you downloaded something and you don't know what to do. Maybe you went to a forum and it was very toxic at that forum. They weren't nice to newbies. That's why we are here. Sneaky Linux is in the house. Welcome. It is evening here, Sneaky. It's morning for you. It is currently 8.14 p.m. local time. The temperature, hey, it's above freezing. Ooh, it's 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Yay! I'm not freezing off my kernels tonight. Yeah. Wine use it for games. Okay. You don't run wine, so it should be okay, all right? Yeah, I don't use wine. I tried it, and it didn't work for me. A bit of a cold there. Sneaky, we were at, like, for a long time, like, close to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 43 degrees right now, and it, it hit almost 50 today. I have a bottle of water to keep my mouth uh, hydrated while I talk. <clears throat> but I'm okay. Gael says, CCleaner, Malwarebytes, those, those were the very two reasons which delayed my second coming to Linux after for some months of 2014. Okay. Yeah, there. Uh, Windows 10 should have standard apps that are not built in, such as CCleaner, Malwarebytes, Super Anti Spyware, Defragler. Um, those come to the top of maybe a vast antivirus is pretty good. Ah, rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, even here in the spring and summer, when it rains, the grass grows, Sneaky. Very green, to say the least. Okay, so we'll see if anybody else pops in that's a newbie and uh, to Linux. Again, don't be shy. If you're watching this or thinking about it, you're not sure, well, should I say hello? Maybe it's okay. Say hello. Okay, let's go to just a few quick news items. And if I miss something, somebody say, Stop, toss, you missed a question. If anybody is in Pittsburgh Market tomorrow, I will be at the South Hills Village Mall in Pittsburgh at the App Store with a friend of mine. Uh, it is not very cold here right now, Gael, no. Tomorrow morning about 11.30, I will be at South Hills Village with my friend Amy. She is flying uh, back to Austria on Tuesday. She has to get her MacBook Air service at the Apple Store. So I will be there. If, if, if anyone happens to be there, uh, I will be dressed in black, black jeans, black shirt. You, you're welcome to stop me and say hello. And if you, you, know, you want to take a selfie with me, that's fine, even though I'm not, I'm not that famous. I will be there at the Apple Store with my friend. East Apollo, your first Windows version was Windows ME. Okay, all right. I remember ME. That's uh, affectionately reter referred to as the Mistake Edition. Uh -huh. <laughs> we don't bite your teeth through the bathroom, Sneaky. Yes, all newbies who come to this channel, beware of Sneaky's teeth. <laughs> I 
Anyway, so yes, if by random chance, I will be in Pittsburgh tomorrow at South Hills Village. Rick, that is a nice mall. I was there for the first time last year with my cousin and her daughter. Uh, we went there in springtime and uh, they wanted to do shopping. There's a, what, what's, what's that expensive store with the thousand dollar women's shoes there in South Hills Village? I want to say Saks, but it's not Saks. I can't remember the store. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I'll be wearing my Steve Jobs jeans tomorrow, yes. Well, I'll be walking to, to an Apple store, so I, I, I need to make it feel comfortable. Lamer. <laughs> anyway, uh, South Hills Village is very nice small. It's about 45 minute drive from here, depending on traffic. I'm gonna leave here probably with her about 10.30. If anybody's there and you see me, feel free to uh, say hello. So that's tomorrow. Let's let's move on with the news and uh, see if anybody else jumps in. You know, this is this story here has been going on for a while, and and this is what I don't understand. This is like all I can say is a very big WTF. What is it with teens eating Tide Pods? Don't you have other things to do? Hey, why not eat your Tide Pod and wash it down with some bleach and ammonia? This is unreal. I guess this is a, a fad, a craze, a dare. Uh, teenagers in there, I don't know what to say. And I guess they're leaving reviews. I guess, is this on Amazon? What flavor does it come in? Oh, it has a very smooth, thick texture with a slight mint. Oh, the flavor, it's definitely Tide Pod flavor. Are you, are you kidding me? Does it, does it taste like candy? What flavor of Tide Pods? Oh my God. This is rather sad. I mean, I'm making fun of it, but it's not, uh, it's not, uh, I'm so, oh, am I stealing? Okay, scratch that. Sorry, Switch. I actually got wind of this last week. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, pretend you never saw that article. Uh, Rick, you live in Somerset. It, it's an hour at least. Okay. All right. Well, if you happen to, if you happen to be there, I'll be there tomorrow morning. Um... Anyway, let's move on to the next one. The latest Bionic Beaver to be released will use Zorg by default. How long has Wayland been in development <laughs> since the Flintstone Age? Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to switch back to Zorg uh, display server, probably, probably for the best. Three main reasons, screen sharing, such as Google Hangouts, Skype, and all that stuff, remote desktop, and recoverability from shell crashes. So, Ubuntu 18.04, yeah, back to Zorg. I still can't believe that switch with the tide. I mean, it's unreal. It really is unreal. I don't get it. It's... You know, I remember as a kid, you know, when parents or teachers used to say, you have a dirty mouth, we're going to wash it with soap. Hey, now kids are washing themselves their mouths with their own soap. Go, f go figure. <clears throat> anyway. Apple's HomePod. February 9th to be released February 9th. I wonder if you'll have a demo of this at the store. Uh, this will run about $350. So, the revolution. The virtual home assistant invasion is officially here. I admit it, I have an Echo Dot. I don't use it every day. Okay, I'm not, I'm not addicted to it or anything. But it does come in handy to send an alarm, play music, catch up on the news, Chuck Norris jokes. You know, I mean, for 50 bucks, really. But keep in mind, it records everything you say. You can go back into the app and delete everything that you've said, but it starts over. So just bear that in mind um, that it will record. But I like mine. And that's probably the only one I will have in the house. I thought about one for the, gar for the garage, but nah, nah. I'll just put my cell phone in there. 
Uh, okay. Uh, Bionic is quite nice to use in XSC version. Okay. All right. Back like going back to your ex-wife. Ah. Sneaky or a riot. Intel is working on chip level patches for Spectre and Meltdown. Would you would you believe that these problems go back all the way to computers since 1995? So Big Brother was watching after all, and we didn't even know. Apple prepares Mac OS users for discontinuation of 32-bit ad support. Hi Sierra will be the last version to support 32-bit for all you Mac users out there. I'm not sure what version my friends, my she has in her MacBook Air, I think. Um, I think that's what she has. She has to get an adapter or something. It doesn't have a USB port or something. I don't know, she's driving. She didn't want to go alone, so I'll be up there. Um, yeah. Oh, you have one, Tony? And it's okay. Yeah, it's um it works fine. You know. I use it to set the alarm, catch up on the news, weather report. It's it's convenient. I mean I can use my phone for that, but it's convenient, it's it's there. And um I can see why forty million house households have a form of a virtual home assistant. Um yeah, don't 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 eat them. Yes, those apple pods. I mean the app yeah, apple pods. Um Tide Pods. Google Chrome 64 released. Fixes for Spectre, Meltdown, and lets users mute websites. Just don't mute mine on YouTube and I'll be fine. So I like Google Chrome. It works fine. Is Chrome, Chromium, Firefox. I'm a web browser hopper and it works fine with me. I did take a look at Makulu Linux. This really, really, really looks nice. It's Windows-ish. I guess it's it's supposed to make Windows users feel comfortable, and I really like the way this looks. Running this off a USB stick, and it ran pretty fast, pretty zippy, off a 16 gigabyte stick, and I really like it. it I mean, it ran great, no crashes, uh, smooth. It looks really sharp. It just does. So, so check out Mukulu Linux. It's different. I'm always looking for something different. So, 2.8 gigabyte download. They're calling this Lindos. L I N D O Z. I'm not sure how they can get away with it, but hey. I won't say anything if you don't. Mintcast, the latest Mintcast has been released. The podcast by the Linux Mint community for all users of Linux, not really for beginners. Newbies might be lost listening to some of this. Uh, but if you're more advanced, check out the Mintcast podcast by the Linux Mint community. They do these, I believe, bi-weekly version. This is edition, or this is Mintcast uh, release number 280. They've been doing this for quite a few years now. Uh, so um, check it out. For a future video, could do a tutorial tour of Super Dimension Fortress Public Eye Unix system. Oh my goodness, uh, may beneficial for... Trenton, I have to be honest, I don't think a single person has ever asked me to do a tutorial. Super Dimension, Fortress, Public Access, yeah, that's, that's, that sounds like something out of a movie. Uh, yeah, probably will not be doing that, yeah. Usually tutorials, tutorials usually, tut usually questions are, which is the best Linux for beginners? How do I install it? Do I have to delete Windows? You know, what if I get a virus? Do I get viruses? What's the best software for Linux? How do I get rid of Linux? Which community should I go to? How do I up? It's those. Those are the kind of questions. So, usually. Flamer, you like Ferret? Okay, very good. Uh, 
Uh, you went to the Makulu site to download, but it looks like you have to put the mail. Uh, if you go to... I don't have a problem with that personally. Uh, I, I just use an email account that I don't use, if, if, if that makes any sense. <laughs> or not, or don't really monitor. Tony, go to SourceForge. Uh, you should be able to download it from there. Uh, I don't think you have to give any more information. If you choose not to, uh, Makula Linux does ask for donations, and that that's perfectly fine. I have, I have no problem with that. Uh, but go to SourceForge, Tony. It should be there. Uh, at least it was there. It should be there. Check it out. Kagan, you should definitely... Yes, Makula Linux is definitely for you. Yes, check it out. Uh, I was impressed. I mean, for once, I saw a nice, jazzed up, pretty, loaded Linux system that actually freaking works. Somebody said, try deep it. It, it doesn't work. It's slow. It tried to do the updates. It, take, it took forever. It doesn't work, at least not for me. But Makula Linux for a nice, fully loaded, aesthetically pleasing Linux OS really works. It's freaking awesome. Uh, I may install it in my Toshiba and get rid of Ubuntu Mate. Ooh, sacrilege. Yeah, but I still have it on this, so. Uh, definitely check it out, Kagan. Yep. Yeah. Run it off a USB stick and you try. See if it'll work. I mean, it works for me. Um, <clears throat> the best community to go. Oh, thank you, Lamer. Very kind of you. Very kind of you, thank you. Ooh, deep in that one. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> ben Fitzpatrick. Thanks for sharing. I still enjoy your channel. Keep up. Thank you, Trenton. Very kind of you. Uh, the pre installed AV in Makulu, I believe it's Clam TK, I think. Uh, I think so, yeah. Levi, hello. Deepin has gotten a lot better lately. Have you tried? I really haven't. Um, all right, you twisted my... I may take a look at it. But I gotta warn you, if, if, if it does the same crap as before, I'm done. Because Deepin is deep in it. <laughs> Mom, Momom. Momom Games, hello. Logan Graham. Hello, Logan. Have a crack at it. Try. Uh, I tried uh, Makulu on my machine with four gigs of RAM, dual core, and it's fine. It's fine. It really is nice. Linux Lite is also good. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I would recommend that for beginners. Also, I believe they use XFCE desktop, if I am not mistaken. Okay, it is 8.30, so we'll probably end this at 9. Once again, if there are any uh, beginners, newbies out there, um, semi-newbies, you need to ask a question, you were lost, don't be shy. Everybody's friendly here. This is your chance to say something, to rant, to ask a question, tech support. That's what we're here for. Download speeds, at least, were much improved when you tried it last. Okay, all right, I may... Take a look at it again. Yeah, it's been a while since I tried Deepin. I do remember it kind of looking pretty nice, and different, but it just was. It just didn't. It wasn't smooth. It just didn't work for me. Uh, it felt sluggish. But I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> oh, there's a fair and light now. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. I like XF. I like Linux Mint XFCE. You're welcome, Tony. Let me know how it works out for you. Um, yeah, like I said, I just created a USB bootable stick with uh, uh, Unit Bootin, right? Yeah, Unit Bootin. Um, didn't take long. Rebooted. Uh, I just did it for 
testing. I installed, uh, what did I install to record? I think I installed Kazam Screen Record. They use Record My Desktop, which is like from the Stone Age. I don't, I don't know why that's in there. Anyway, I recorded using Kazam. And of course, when you reboot it, it erases everything. So before I did that, I did the recording, no editing, just uploaded it to the channel. And it was fine. Using Deep and Desktop on Arch now. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, this is Microtech Tech Support. Your computer has been infected. We are the Borg. You'll be assimilated with viruses. Resistance is futile. <laughs> we will assimilate Ubuntu Mate and make it our own. The Borg. Oh <laughs> uh, my. You know, I have yet to get a virus in Windows 10. They don't exist for me. Now, maybe I've gotten one and is recording my desktop even being supported? As far as I know, no. Why they put it in Makulu? I mean, they have such a modern, jazzed up desktop, and there's an app that I think that the, the last person to support it was Fred Flintstone, so I don't get that. And maybe it works, I didn't even try it, labor. I just downloaded Kazam. Anyway, that worked. <clears throat> By the way, the t-shirts, uh, last week, uh, to help keep the channel funded, I think three of you bought t-shirts. So these are the t-shirts if you're interested. Go to teespring.com and search Total OS today if you would like to help support the channel. Uh, the Windows Broken Fix with Linux, probably the popular one. Fred Flintstone, yeah. Yabba dabba do. It's record my desktop. To you. Boo 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 boo. I mean, really, when did record my desktop come out? Like 20 or 2005? I don't know. I should make a t shirt that says, forget, re record my desktop, forget about it. <laughs> That's what I should do. Forget about it. Oh, my. Anyway. Those are the shirts if anyone is interested. Teespring.com and search Total OS today, three words. They're less than 20 bucks, I think. If you would like to support the channel. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we are the Borg. Lower your shields. Surrender your ships. We will add your biological. That's exactly what they said. Your Linux will adapt to service us. Flat packs are, are futile. <laughs> uh, anyway. Coding Commander, that pink one's for you. I, I made that just for you. So, see, now you have to get one. See, and tell, tell me if you like it. Yes, that's for you. And, uh, anyway. Like I said, I have a pink shirt by Polo. I don't know. It's upstairs in my closet. Still fits after 10 years. Shrunk a little bit, but not too bad. You memorized that line. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, they have they offer actually quite a few choices on Teespring uh, for gals and guys as far as uh, as far as apparel. 
tank tops. I think I got a tank top there listed, if I'm not mistaken. Different colors. Anyway. I'm still waiting for a newbie to come on, a true Linux newbie to say, hey, I'm new, I need help. We may have to do uh, like, a f like a few of these to make uh, the beginners truly feel comfortable. I have a feeling, but, but that's okay. Don't mind doing that. So yeah, we'll probably wrap this up before nine-ish, about 20 minutes or so, unless we have questions coming in and the floodgates are open, which I don't think so. So what I'll probably do is this weekend, I'll probably set a schedule for next week and do another one of these and see what happens. So Ah, <laughs> uh, your profile picture screens. I have to look a little closer. Is that a... Oh, it's a penguin. Right? I have to get it. I, I got this little 19-inch monitor. It's killing me. All right, okay. Uh. <laughs> Pseudo Linux, you're a Linux noob. How long have you been a Linux noob? How to exit virtual machine? Yeah. Right. Right, Switch. Yeah. Gael says, maybe on the next episode, this will be broken English speakers or few broken English. Oh. What is the language? Is it Spanish, Gael? So what should I call next week's live show, Gael? The Brooklyn English podcast <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it Randy hello Windows support uses Linux on there and us <laughs> hi Randy how, how are you <laughs> uh, well this is for Linux beginners doing this live cast so let's not confuse him okay it was a joke okay okay Four plus years. Ah. It's a Tux mouse pad. Okay, got it. What does your profile picture scream? See, the, the it's so small. I, uh, I can't really... It looks like you have a nice tan, Coding Commander, but I, like, I got a small monitor. can't really tell. But I would say you have a nice tan. Our local version of Spanish only a Chilean would understand. Ah, si sí, senor. Got it. Holy cow, Randy, you use Deepin. Does it work? Any issues with it running sluggishly or uh, updating the, the system? That's what I had a problem with last time and I gave up. So in Chile, is um, Linux popular, or, or or not really? Ode, call it Ode to Candy. Hmm. I could do a Brooklyn English live cast for Italians. I could use my like you know my accent. Hey, I need that. I I need to buy an iPhone. Okay, uh, I need to use an app. Uh, Facebook. Uh. <laughs> it runs great. Cool. Very nice.
The biggest hurdle for new users from Windows is terminology ignoring the why won't set up. Yeah. That would be one of the hurdles, sure. But once they learn to, you know, search for apps, say, from the Synaptic Package Manager, apps they would already use, like Firefox, VLC, stuff like that, it takes a while to learn, I would, I would admit. Um, well, that's what we're here for iPhone forget about it yep my friend Amy has an iPhone yeah Kit Kats I like Kit Kats like Skittles come on toss you're making me hungry again um, I don't have any snacks here downstairs do I uh, what do I have for snacks ah Cranberries. Hmm. Cranberry snack. All right. Um, Linux is well known in Chile. Not very popular though. But there's more people trying distros every day. It doesn't sound like a like a surrealist world anymore. Very good, Gael. Very good. Your grand's cat to come here sleepy. Hmm. Hmm. Dried cranberries to, for a snack. I'm sorry, I'm eating. Joel Solar Solarzano. Greetings, Joel. I think this is your first time on a live stream. If it is, everybody, please say hello to Joel. Or Joel. Joel. Solarzano. I, th I think Joel, right? Hello, Joel. Are you a newbie to the world of Linux or somewhat new? And in my, if I may ask, what do you use? Once again, if there are any Linux beginners out there, newbies, people who have fear, this is your chance. If you've been to a community and you were not treated with friendship and love and respect, this is your chance to stop by and ask a question. Say hello, maybe have a rant. It is your first time, Joel. Okay, you are very welcome. Yes, all the different ways to load apps can be a challenge. I normally use the, the uh, Synaptic Package, excuse me, Package Manager. If it ain't there, I'll I'll use a PPA. Sometimes get in the terminal, but very rare that I have to do that. Joel, you use uh, currently use Ubuntu and Windows. You use Ubuntu. Do you mean you use both Ubuntu and Windows for gaming or just Windows for gaming, Joel? Okay, Switch. What is your rant? Wait, wait, wait. I have to get my fire extinguisher before he Switch goes on fire. Where is my fire extinguisher? Darn it. It's upstairs. But I have a bottle of water to put out the fire. Okay, Switch, what is your rant? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Going to start using SSD. Switch to Linux. Are SSDs reliable? They tend to have a higher failure rate, for what I gather, than standard hard disks. Is that true? less than a year um does it not have a one-year warranty switch 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I... I mean, I know they're a lot faster. I'm not sure if I trust them. So, yeah. <laughs> it's got to get warm here. <laughs> You've seen the unfriendly Linux forums everywhere. Everyone, even the highest ranking Linux god, starts out with no knowledge. Yes, that is true. They are not as reliable. Okay. Ubuntu for everyday productivity. Mini desktop. Windows. Okay. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, Ubuntu Mate for me, Joel, and Windows for... I don't have a gaming PC, but it's good enough for some gaming, yeah. Oh, it's a three-year warranty switch? Well, then send it back, man, and tell them forget about it. <laughs> Samsung 850 Evo has a five-year. Oh, okay. Traditional drive, more stable. I wonder if the SSDs are more prone to heat problems. Just a thought. I, I have no clue. Ah, you had one also bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's not very reassuring. Covered for three years. I wonder if they know that they tend to break within three years. Holy cow, the A50 Pro has a 10 year warranty? Okay. Yeah, but if they keep breaking, even if it's free replaced, that would be annoying, in my opinion. Right? These cranberries are delicious. Anyway. All right, so we're going to wrap this up soon. Once again, if there are any newbies out there, beginners, want to ask a question, now is your chance. We'll probably finish this up here with some oddball news. Have, some, have a few laughs. All right. Let's see. As you can see, we have a very nice, friendly community here. So, anybody who watches this after we're done, you'll see. You'll see that next time you can stop by and say hello. Yeah, I know standard hard drives are cheap now yes mm hmm absolutely more SSD comments <laughs> yeah um, I was thinking of the SST the supersonic transport came into mind there's a company called boom that's gonna bring back supersonic transport in, in a few years it's supposed to be quieter and faster than the Concorde that should be interesting Anyway, let's see what's in odd news. Doing, doing a good deed leads Georgia man to $10,000 lottery win. Very good. A sperm whale speeds through the water, collides with snorkel. Uh-oh. Goats rounded up by police. Give vehicle a free car wash. Hmm. <laughs> okay. New York bars sign warns patrons not to say literally. Huh? I'm from New York. What's up with that? I don't get that. A 
salt with a deadly whale. Yeah, right. Benjamin Plaza Aguirre. Hola. How are you, Benjamin? Hola. Do you use Linux? So on this oddball news, if you say the word, the word literally inside Continental, I guess that, that's a restaurant. You have five minutes to finish your drink and then you must leave. What the heck? Uh, this is the most overused, annoying word in the English language and we will not tolerate it. it I don't get that. Forget about it. You need goats around me. <laughs> oh, me. Uh, uh, it says. <laughs> owner, owner says car surfing cat. Okay, let's take a look. Benjamin asks, Conal says, do I know El Camino? El Camino. That was a car. The El Camino. <laughs> I'm not going to play this, but video shows cat moving, a moving car, police investigated for animal neglect. Hey, the cat was paw surfing. I don't know. Huh. Interesting. I guess New York had does have language issues, Switch. I don't recall having language issues when I was there. I mean, we, we, we had our own language, like, are you talking to me? And forget about it, but it was harmless. The VR chat. Ah. I do not use VR, Benjamin. Yeah. Donkey leads escaped animals on midnight parade through neighborhood. Ha ha. French shoppers fight over discounted Nutella. Well, those French are wacky. Okay, Switch. Yeah, I'm going to end this soon. Spin Viking, welcome. Tokyo man uses katana to artfully dispatch snowmen. Ha ha. Conoces Kogama. Ah, uh, no, Benjamin. No conozco Kogama. KS Kogama. What is that? Hmm. Auction of developers' pr property includes Velociraptor alien statues. That's interesting. You'll fight over Vegemite if I was out. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I saw this the other day. Forklift fail shatters hundreds of glass bottles. Esunwego, okay. Yeah, I saw this the other day. Security cameras catch thief shoveling live fish down his pants. You figure that one out. Uh, yeah, I don't play too many games, Gael. What's your opinion of Tor Browser? It works. Uh, it's stable for both Windows and Linux. Easy to use. It can be painfully slow uh, surfing the web, but that's to be expected, Spin Viking. So, um, it works. There's no question it works. Uh, but it can be slow. Maybe too slow. Yeah. Holy cow, a YouTuber makes basket from 660 feet? Whoa. 
That's impressive. Looks like they're across a freaking dam. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is the last call. We're going to wrap this up if there is anybody out there. A newbie, a beginner, someone who needs help with Linux has a question. Want to say hello, a rant, and now is your opportunity. Before I wrap this up for this evening. Of course, you can always play this back. Yes, all of the advanced privacy layers, that's probably what it is. Yes. Checking out the science section here real quick. Huh. Global takeover by Argentine ants fueled by chemical weapons. That is frightening. All right. Okay, it is uh, oh, just about nine o'clock, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, if somebody catches this on the replay, uh, welcome again. <laughs> and um, we'll do this again sometime. So once again, if you are new to all this, curious about Linux, have tried it, were lost, it didn't work out to you, wanted to ask a question, you've come to a friendly community. So maybe I'll catch you on the next one. So I would like to thank everybody here who joined this evening, especially all the new people to the chat. Always a lot of fun saying hello to new people. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. So everybody be safe, have fun. Adiós.